All the biggest creators on YouTube use animated subtitles, but they can take so long to do. You have to type them all out, and even if you use the voice to text function in Premiere Pro, you can't animate them because you didn't used to be able to animate caption layers. Until now, Premiere Pro has just got new updates and I'm going to show you the new game changing way to make animated subtitles so much quicker and it's going to save you so much time. It's a game changer. First, make sure you're updated to Adobe Premiere Pro 23.1, else this won't work. You can do this inside Adobe Creative Cloud. So start off by inside the text tab, go into captions and click create transcription. Pick which audio track you want it to create the captions from. I'm personally just going to go for a mix of all of them, but you can pick whichever layer your audio is on. Then click transcribe. The subtitles will start to be transcribed from the sequence and then we click the create captions button at the top. We'll then start doing the styling. I just left this as subtitle default, click into your preferences and here you can change whether it's on double single line, how many characters there are per subtitle and what is the minimum duration in seconds it appears on screen. I set mine like this but you can do it however you want. Then click create captions. You'll then see that Premiere has turned the transcription of the audio into captions. However, like we said at the start, they are a caption layer and you can't actually animate this. Let me show you how to turn it into a text layer. So highlight all your captions and then go up to graphics and titles and click upgrade caption to graphic. And then you can see on your timeline that all of those captions are now text layers and we can animate them freely. Just remember to put your anchor point in the center of your text. So it's uh, zooming in or zooming out from the center. Keyframe the scale at zero for the first frame and then three frames later, put it to 100. And then your first subtitle should zoom in. And then so we don't have to do this on every single text layer, we're gonna save this as a preset. Just name it something like zoom preset and set it to anchor to in point. Then highlight the rest of your text layers, go to your effects panel and in the preset folder, drag on the zoom preset that you've just made to the rest of your subtitles and they should all zoom in. And I have a whole other video about how to format subtitles, so if you want to know how to format them and make them all pretty in your own fonts, your own colours, really quickly, head over to this video and watch the end of this video and it'll all be there for you. Thanks for watching.